Hello everyone, this is Abedin from BI Data Lab and today we are going to show you how to load multiple sheets of data into an into a Power BI report like this. So we have an Excel file which has 24 sheets with uh, monthly sales and uh, we have an additional sheet which holds the categories for the products which are in the main sheets so each product belongs to a has a product description which belongs to a subcategory which belongs to the main category here so we are going to create a query that loads all these data automatically and then create another query that load, loads categories into Power BI. So let's get started. Let's open a fresh Power BI file. We should notice that uh, the number of rows in each of the sheets is uh, the same but the number of columns in each of the main sheets may dif may differ because from for january 2019 we have 31 days so this is, these are the days and for the next month we have only 28 uh, columns so this uh, this we should uh, keep in mind and see what what will happen now so we say get data We open the Excel connector, open the Excel file and instead of choosing all sheets here, like this so we select only one and open Power Query Editor and now let's do some simple transformations here like uh, like promoting headers then uh, unpivoting other columns and then changing this column name to day because this represents the day okay so now we have we have a query that uh, properly loads data from one single sheet what to do now in order to get uh, data from other sheets okay we will use parameters we'll go here and uh, add new parameter let's call it uh, sheet name like this and let's select for the type of uh, this parameter data type of this parameter to be the text value and the current value for this parameter is APR 2019 okay like this so we created a, 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 a parameter which does not do anything right now so how to implement this parameter now we go back to the to the query for the april 2019 and then go to the second step here where it says where the query so first it reads the source the the, the file file path then within that file it goes to the it navigates to the sheet which is April 2019 now since we created the parameter we change this to be dy dynamic so sheet name okay and it looks like nothing happens but in fact this is now dynamic dynamic uh, sheet name dynamic uh, parameter which changes for every every sheet in the file and now 
because we have everything working we will create a function now and let's call this function single sheet like this we can call it uh, with uh, whichever whichever name we like okay and then let's uh, use this function let's invoke this function to get data from all sheets how we do that we first uh, duplicate this this query let's put it to the other queries folder and let's and let's change this to all sheets so what we do here we go to the navigation we delete all the steps except for the first step and here what we do now here is that we remove other columns because we need only this data column and here we go and invoke our custom function that we just built so this function and which will get which will get values from from which column from the column name like this and now we have some some errors why is that we can investigate right now so this error is because we are reading here the categories sheet which obviously is uh, is not the sheet that we want to combine with other main sheets other month sheets so we have to exclude this from the query so we go before invoking 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 the custom functions custom function or after removing the other columns let's remove the categories now we have one error less now we have other errors so we have errors for february here and from february here why because the query cannot find column number 32 here let's see what the query in the in the sample 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 sheet does so it reads the file it goes to the sheet and then here it changes the data type of all sheets of all uh, columns and here we have a column 32 why is that because because the sheet april 2019 here which is uh, taken as uh, the sample sheet has has 30 uh, columns here 31 32 so here we have 32 columns and then when it comes to the february here the february has only so it's ag the february has only up to ae so it's uh, 30 30 columns only so how do we fix this we have to go back to the to the sample file and undo these uh, undo these transformations even this one in fact not that one let's go back so this was the, the file okay we leave it like this so only the source and the navigation without any transformation which will have the which will have the the any any column reference which will break our query afterwards we need to get back this to sheet name okay and change type that automatically is created we remove it okay so now if we go back to the 
to the main query we see that we don't have any errors so everything will be red just like the for the first uh, for the first query but here now we have to work and do those transformations here so we don't need this column anymore and we just expand this and now we have everything everything uh, expanded and we have no errors in any columns what we have to do now is that we will need to remove these headers which is every 31st row but first we need to promote headers or uh, delete that change uh, change type because we will change it at the at the end and now we remove this no value so number and what what we will do now is that we will create the date we will create how we, how we will create the date let's see from here so this is this is the this is the n number of the day and this is this is the month so we will need to merge columns day column and the month column but uh, but uh, now first we have to unpivot these uh, other columns from here and then make this day which actually is now we will drag and drop here and now we will select these two and click merge columns let's use uh, space as the delimiter this is the date and now we are ready to to, to finally we are ready to change the data type so we have dates from January 1st 2019 up to up to uh, December 31st uh, 31 of December 2020 and we have all the values and the products in the right uh, format unpivoted format we will not need this to load now because we will work everything with this uh, with this query but we need to get but we need to get the category as we said in the beginning so we go to where we go here recent sources and now we just select the category sheet okay we don't have to do any complex transformation here so just uh, use first rows row as headers and again remove these change type type uh, steps which are pretty annoying uh, pretty annoying okay close and apply <laughs> and now we will have all the data loaded properly so it doesn't take much time and you have data here for for read from 25 sheets so it's pretty cool now we will go and create uh, create the sample power bi report like we said so we have a card visual two bar charts one column chart one line chart and one date slicer okay we can do that very fast so first let's create a measure and call it total sales 
which is the simple sum function of values in the all sheet query. Okay, let's make the design of the report like in the sample and let's add a card visual and let's format this to be in dollars and let's let's uh, put the display units to none like this okay and maybe we can we can increase the uh, transparency of the background a bit like this so to we to to have these nice lines in the background okay so we, now we go copy paste convert this to bar chart and put the categories into the axis or we had here not categories but we had here years we will not create date table or create other columns from the date uh, column in the all sheet uh, query but we will just get the year from here let's put the labels on now we go and create other queries other uh, visuals here we have by category let's make this smaller and we have here by subcategory let's convert this to column chart put the subcategory into the axis Here we had uh, the slicer. I copy pasted to to preserve the format, but maybe it will not work. Let's see. Okay, it works. Okay, data from January to December 2020, and we have a simple line chart which shows the sales by date and then up and down to the lowest level in the date hierarchy so sales by day and here we can add a trend line with the let's make this color red like this okay and we can get the transparency here by this very useful format painter option okay so now as you can see everything is works perfectly fine it works very fast and for each uh, month, for each sheet in the Excel, we can quickly find everything that we may want to know. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to stay connected with us because we are going to make similar videos like this and hopefully, hopefully you will learn to do this kind of cool things by yourself thank you again and uh, see you again in our next tutorial bye bye